Okay, in this video we're going to discuss the project browser within Revit. The project browser is important because it's what you'll use to navigate your way through all your views or sheets um, in your project. Now by default you may find that Revit 2011 has set your project browser to the bottom left of your of your screen. If you want you can pick that up and drag it to the top so that it's a bit more accessible or if you're working on two screens you can also drag it out so that it's floating by itself and you have the option to make it longer so that you can see more of your views at once and you can also drag that across to your second screen. For the purpose of this video I'm just going to put it back where I found it. Now you'll notice when you look through your project browser that it has headings and subheadings. It's got floor plans. Now these are the default Revit views that it sets up for you. Um, and you'll see that under floor plans we can minimize or expand that. We'll see we've got our level 1, level 2 and our site floor plan. Now we can just minimize these to get, out of, get them out of the way and move on to our other ones. Got our ceiling plans already set up there, level one and level two. You'll also find we have elevations. Now if I double click on the east elevation, you can see now that my drawing space has changed to a default elevation view. And it's showing me in elevation my level one floor plan and my level two floor plan and at what RL those plans are sitting at at the moment. So back into the project browser, you can see it also shows you um, your schedules. If you double click on that, oh, we haven't actually set one up, but if we set up a door schedule or a material schedule, they'll all list under that. We've got our sheets as well. Our sheets are important because you're able to set up a sheet for printing and drag and drop your views from your project browser onto those sheets. You'll also see expanded down here is our families. Now our families are everything that's loaded into Revit. 3D models, annotations, um, materials, everything that we're going to be working with. Down the bottom you'll also see Revit links and these are files that you have either linked into Revit or imported. 